Back in 1927, Detroit was one of the first cities in America to have an ambulance. In fact, it was a gift from a wealthy philanthropist named Paxton Mendelssohn. By just an incredible twist of fate and a lot of hard work, that first ambulance is again on the road. But while this vehicle story began here on the streets of Detroit 92 years ago, today it continues 511 miles away. If you think it'd be fun riding in this automotive classic. Yeah, this is fun. Well, you'd be right. But if you were riding in it in 1927, You'd be in some trouble. You see, this Packard was Detroit's first ambulance. It's such a unique piece of Detroit fire history. Cheryl Fox is a retired Detroit firefighter and a DFD historian. And when she says unique, she's not kidding. How many ambulances are outfitted with a big coffee urn? The ambulance part makes sense, um, but the coffee wagon part, uh, it responded to large fires. And during that time, there wasn't a, you know, a Salvation Army or a Red Cross to come out and, and you know, provide warm drinks. It was made to be um, a, a place where the department doctor could actually treat people from cuts and burns and you know broken legs things like that they could do everything but complicated surgeries the vehicle had outlived its usefulness by the 50s and was lost many thought forever until its rusted corpse turned up at a car show in pennsylvania in 1974. all these pieces were all over my house Doc Vitek of Sterling, Virginia bought it for two grand and planned to breathe some life back into her. 40 years later, he finally did. Fenders are original, wheels are original, bumpers, radiator, radiator shell. It took Doc and his team three years of hard work, but now it looks like it did on those runs 70, 80, even 90 years ago on the streets of Detroit. I'll never forget when it first started and uh, the smile on his face. Excuse me, I get a little emotional about it. He was a really happy guy. So was I. Cheryl was very happy too as she watched the video of the restoration. I was literally jumping up and down like a kid. A piece of Detroit history restored thanks to some Virginia determination. It just makes me so happy when I see things like this that are treasured. And you can see in the video that I saw how much he enjoys having it. Just warms my heart, and I'd love to give him a big hug and a big thank you. Well, Aww. now the big thing is we've got to get this thing here back to Detroit. Which is still going to take some work, right? Yeah, because yeah. I, I don't think you can just drive that the 511 miles. We've got to get that thing here. I love hearing the emotion, though, in their voices. Isn't that something? They really worked hard to get that back yeah, to really uh, vintage, yeah. Very neat.